gentlemen, boys and girls, how I'd like to speak to you about my favorite Disney character. <laughs> Good morning. It is currently two something. I'm trying to get all of my stuff packed and ready to go for Encore. Um, I attended the virtual conference last year and I enjoyed it a lot. So I decided to kind of take my involvement to new heights and apply to present. Spoiler alert, my proposal was in fact accepted. So my Encore experience is going to be a little different from the other scholars, but I'm very excited to learn more about myself throughout this experience um, and kind of get to network and get to know the people around me. So I guess with that being said, let's finish packing and head to Portland. Okay, so we made it to Portland, but I didn't film much on the way there since I was really tired and also working on my presentation. But we got some free cookies after checking in and then we checked out the convention center. We ate lunch at an area with lots of food trucks and then went to Powell's Books. And then after that, we came back to the hotel for nap time, but I actually took an exam instead. And then after that was over, we explored downtown Portland and ate seafood for dinner, followed by desserts at Voodoo Donuts. Today was mostly just traveling and doing pre-conference stuff, kind of getting ready for tomorrow. But we had the opportunity to get to know the other scholars as well as get the lay of the land just a little bit. I'm excited, nervous, all the feelings, um, but I'm already enjoying the experience a lot and learning more about myself as well as those around me. Good morning. Today is my session at 345. I'm very excited but nervous and I still have stuff I need to finish and I guess I'll fill you in as the day goes on. Everything is probably from Marshalls. We're going from that hair is from Vanity Beauty Supply in Des Moines. I got my shoes from Kohl's, my dress from Lulu's, my blazer from Kohl's, my earrings from Heroic Inc. and Ames, and my eyelashes. I grew them myself. So in the morning I finished up my presentation and then we got lunch at a sandwich shop. After that we had the first keynote and immediately after that I actually gave my presentation. I can now say that I have presented at my first national conference at the age of 21, so that's pretty good. We then got sushi and Thai food with some of the McNair scholars and then played cards after. So the first session that I went to was hosted by uh, two members um, of Massachusetts Institute of Technology. They actually focused on creating and implementing um, different pathways to graduate school programs for students of color. So I thought that was really interesting because I am a pre-med student and I am kind of interested in looking at different opportunities and initiatives to take part of. My session was basically on a new and up and coming form of activism which kind of sprouted and became more popular in the summer of 2020 and that's kind of how I was able to understand what was going on in the world. I did read a lot of news articles and watch a lot of videos, but the only thing that really like made sense to me was music because I am a musician. So I decided to do more research on that. And I've given this presentation about two or three times before, but I've never done it for 75 minutes um, at a national level. So I'm very proud of myself for actually doing it. So first day, very good. Um, I'm very excited to see what happens next um, in the following days. We started off the morning with a team meeting and then attended a few sessions before heading out to another area with food trucks where Tegan and I had burgers for lunch. Jacket, sheen, shirt, Forever 21, pants, Zara, shoes, uh, Target. Shirt, not sure, pants, Christmas, not sure where, shoes, Converse. I got shirt, American Eagle, pants, Lulu, and uh, shoes, Nike. Uh, shoes from Kohl's, dress from Best Barn, and um, I still grew my eyelashes myself. <laughs> um, shoes, my sisters, pants, my sisters, uh, shirt, TJ Maxx, water roller, TJ Maxx. <laughs> Shoes, my mom's, pants, Walmart, shirt, she in, yeah. <laughs> Shoes, Hoka, pants, Kohl's, shirt, TJ Maxx, Target, Marshalls, Jeans, Marshalls, shirt, yes, sponsor, <laughs> I gave my son, yeah. 
Brandon and I had to take advantage of a photo op during the last bit of the break, and then we attended the keynote, followed by another session, and in the evening, we went back downtown for a southern food. So the first session that I went to was hosted by a representative from the Fulbright program, as well as two alumna of the Fulbright program. And the Fulbright program is something that I am very interested in applying to. Um, because I recently decided to take a gap year during my transition from undergrad to medical school. And so kind of getting the ins and outs on what the application process is like, as well as what the actual experience is like, um, was very informative and interesting to hear about. The second session I went to was actually a theatrical performance hosted by two women. Um, and they had written the play and performed it for us. And I thought this one was very interesting because yesterday I presented on activism in the form of music, which is obviously a type of art, but I have never really seen activism or um, discussions on race and ethnicity through another form of art such as theater. The third session I went to was focused on um, students of color and racial demographics of um, students that applied to and were admitted into different dental schools. And I was curious about this one because I'm obviously pre-med, but I didn't know what the statistics were like for um, other health professions. And so I was able to learn a lot of things are the same and a lot of things are different in terms of racial demographics. The morning started off with a nice cup of coffee at the convention center featuring Bennett and I souvenirs along with a complimentary breakfast. We had our OOTD portion of the day where we were basically all wearing the same thing, as you can tell. So the highlights are that I still knew my lashes myself and Tegan was still wearing her hokas, but Grace's outfit wasn't all of the marshals. After that, we took a bunch of pictures and then spent the evening with most of the end course scholars going out for Chinese food and then playing cards. The first session I went to in the morning was hosted by a former student athlete and she kind of talked about how um, athlete activism kind of skyrocketed in 2020 in cohesion with the Black Lives Matter movement. And uh, then she kind of highlighted how the relationship of uh, social justice and athletics has been highly contested um, with the NCAA. The second session that I went to was called Honoring the Cultivation of Gamma Delta Pi Incorporated, Native American Sisterhood. I had never heard of uh, a historically Native American fraternity or sorority until attending this session, and so I wanted to learn more about um, the sisterhood and brotherhood uh, of the organization and kind of challenge myself into thinking why we don't have a more diverse um, area in terms of acceptance and inclusivity. In addition to the events of today, we did have t-shirt day and um, we also wore black ribbons in um, solidarity to show support of the victims of the shooting from yesterday. So today was it was pretty good and um, very powerful, I would say. The last day started off a little rush, but we made it to our sessions and had lunch hosted by Encore, where we also performed our OOTDs with a celebrity guest. My baseball cap is a uh, Tyler's uh, golf cap. And then the Iowa State brand, Go Cyclones. And then I got the blue plaid. Uh, and you can't go wrong with a good pair of khakis. We then wrapped up the conference with the final keynote and had our last circle meeting. I went to two sessions. The first session looked into um, kind of the tension between the different policies that kind of um, exist nowadays on both state and university levels and um, how teaching um, kind of seeks to challenge uh, the status quo in terms of racial inequities in the country. The next session that we went to was kind of random. We kind of just decided to go to a random room and just sit through the session, but it was held by an assistant professor and librarian from San Diego Mesa College in California. And um, she kind of shared her insight on um, taking a deeper look into examining 
campus library collections. I, as well as a lot of students, kind of just assumed that the books were always meant to be in the library. And so I think that uh, going into my final year at our institution, I should definitely look into the types of books and resources that um, we're giving out at our library and seeing if they are truly appropriate for um, us students, faculty and staff members. So throughout the week, I did attend all of the keynote sessions and I learned a lot from all of them, but the one that really got to me um, and kind of hit home was uh, today's keynote by Kip Fulbeck. And he kind of um, talked about the HAPA project, which um, explored multiracial identities through art. And he also mentioned uh, teaching a class on spoken word poetry which is something that we explored in the Encore I Score project. And so um, I thought it was interesting to not only learn about myself and my identity through spoken word poetry, but those around me. To finish off, we ate Korean barbecue and then played cards from last time. Encore is officially over, which is very hard to believe. I had so much fun getting to know more about myself and my surroundings, um, as well as uh, continuing to grow the connections um, with the other students that were here as well as the faculty and staff. I know I probably said I was grateful for the opportunity like a thousand times but words can't even begin to describe how I feel about Encore and the passion and um, excitement I have in terms of learning more about the conference and just research regarding race and ethnicity in general. If you ever consider doing the Encore iSchool project or just attending Encore in general, I say go for it full speed ahead because you honestly will not regret it and you're gonna get so much out of the entire experience. I guess this is it and I'll finish packing and head to my next destination. So around three, I left the hotel and then I guess before I knew it, I flew from Portland to Salt Lake City and then arrived to Toronto as my final destination. Currently 518, so post my session, but I'm just pretending that I filmed this when I was nervous. Welcome to, well, we don't have good lighting. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> I am with the people of the vlog. My hair looks good in the, the sunlight. Okay. God, I look like a, I don't even know what I look like. I think it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Good job, guys. Good job. This is so much fun. <laughs> Where are you running? We going on a trail in the Utah. Okay, welcome to iSchool. No, but I haven't been sent. Or so not iSchool, really iSchool. Like <laughs> 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 Hello, welcome to iSchool. Oh, I'm so excited. 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 Oh, I'm so Blazer, my blazer. Mm -hmm. it's okay. I don't like this lighting situation. Hello. Oh. Welcome back to the vlog with the eggheads. What's up? Big dogs. All right, we're outside in Seattle in the rain right now. All right, we're out.